Yo, what is going on, everybody? It is Grip and Rip Sports Cards back here with another video for you guys today. And in this video, we're going to be discussing the 2024 Top Series 1 odds. That is right, guys. The odds for the product are already out a month before the release. Can't even believe it. But here we are. We're going to discuss it. And you're going to be shocked. I will let you know right now. Um, you are definitely going to be shocked with the results that have been found with these parallels and where they're at. And it's, it's pretty shocking, I'll say that. So... Before we get into that, thank you so much for joining me on this video today. Can we get a minimum of 100 likes on today's video? As that is the best way you can help me grow this channel is by hitting that like button to show your support for the content that we do make. And speaking of growing the channel, we are doing a giveaway. We're giving away hobby packs of baseball cards, most likely Series 1. Um, when we hit 8,000 subscribers, all you have to do to enter is be publicly subscribed, like this video... Turn on the post notifications for all the content you see on the channel. And last but certainly not least, leave a comment in the comment section on what you're looking forward to this baseball season. And I will pick the winner once we hit 8,000 subscribers. So there is that. And of course, channel memberships are open. I'm going to start to do a video a week for my channel members. So shout out to all my channel members. Um, you know who you are. Uh, you'll have a little badge next to your name showing that you are a channel member in the comment section of every video if you comment and things like that. So yeah, so if you want to do that, um, it's $4 or $5 a month, I think, or something like that. We're going to start to do a video every single week, whether it's a discussion video or a pack opening video, eBay unboxings, because I have a lot of letters and things I haven't even opened yet. I've bought in like in the last two months, so we're going to do probably a video on that and everything like that. So yeah, it should be fun. And yeah, if you want to do that, might as well if you want to. So there's that. So let's get into the topic at hand. Let's get into the topic at hand. See, today's video is going to be a little different, right? So originally, and I do still plan on making a video about this, probably tomorrow, the Series 1 pre-orders today were an absolute debacle. Um, an absolute debacle and a half. So what happened is, I'll let you know what I pre-ordered first. So I was actually lucky enough to grab a jumbo box. I pre-ordered a jumbo box. They were 160. Uh, so again, um, actually a little bit higher than last year's series one. Last year's series one was 150 on the site. This year it's 160. And and they are minusing 60 cards from the product. So it's now 40 cards a pack, which used to be 46. And, of course, 10 packs, 10 times 6 is 60. So instead of getting 460 total cards, you now get 400. So, yeah, um, you know, it, it, I, I, it is what it is. I mean, it, there's no use in fighting it. I can make a whole video about that. I probably will eventually. Um, but luckily, Hobbies did not lose any more cards. Luckily, still 12 packs, 20 packs a box, or 12 cards a pack or whatever, um, still it's ridiculous how they take away cards. It's, I mean, it's beyond inflation at this point. It really is. It's greed. Um, but either way, um, so what happened today was Jumbos, I was on the site at 12. I was waiting, right? And there was nothing on their site, right? And I was re refreshing for maybe 10 minutes or so. It was like about maybe 12, 10 or so at this point. I go on Twitter. Luckily, I follow a lot of Twitter accounts and they were spamming links um, to top.com, to jumbos and hobbies and things like that. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. If you didn't have the link to click on the link and to buy it, you didn't see it, right? So by the time they actually put it on their site for the whole public to see without having a link, they were sold out, right? So I had a lot of people in my comment section today um, saying they didn't get a box or they got a hobby. They wish they got a jumbo you know, it sucks. I mean, I could probably make a whole video about this because it was a debacle. It was an absolute debacle and a half on their end. Um, they said they were supposed to go up at 12. They didn't. Um, everyone, the site kept on crashing. Um, I luckily didn't have too many problems. I got in, got out, got what I wanted, and that was it. 
Um, so yeah, we have a jumbo box on the way, um, which may have not been the smartest idea in the world now that we have the odds, little hint, hint for the video. Um, but either way, um, I am going to go get a hobby box as well um, to give my guy business when it comes out February 14th as well. So we'll have one of each to open um, here on the channel. So that's pretty cool. So there was my little story for today. And now let's get to the odds. So like I said in the open, this is going to shock you. Um, I definitely did not expect to say something in this video, but you're going to hear it here first. You're going to hear it here first. Mark this down, circle this video, and come back to this video February 14th. The best way to buy Series 1, and I can't even believe I'm even saying this, is retail. You heard me correctly. Retail looks to be, based on these odds, which you can go see yourself on tops.com, retail looks to be the way to go. Which I do have the odds here for golds, which golds are the best indicator because they're the easiest parallel to pull. Um, so we're going to go over uh, pack odds and things like that for every single configuration in this video. So that's what we're going to do. But before I do show the odds, I do want to say one thing. There are two new configurations for Series 1 that are very interesting. One of which is a dollar store box. It's not the gravity feed box. This is a whole new rendition. The dollar store box, they're calling it. We don't know the price. We don't know what's in it. But there's a new configuration called the dollar store box. Take that with what you will. It's probably a blaster box full of base cards and probably nothing else for probably five bucks a box. That's my guess. I truly have no idea. But then the second version, a new version, is interesting to me. It is called the Fanatics Series 1 box. And what this is, is it's a blaster box, but one in every 200 boxes or 250 boxes contains a redemption card for an authentic autograph item like a jersey, a bat, an autographed ball, helmet, you name it. So you can only get those redemption cards in the Fanatics only box, which we have no idea the price at or anything like that. But that's something also to keep an eye out for. I thought that was pretty interesting. So yeah, so now let's get into the odds. So like I said, golds are the best indicator for how good a configuration of a product can be because they're the easiest parallel to pull because they're numbered out of 2024, right? So let's start with, I'll go with the cheapest version here. We have, um, I have them all out of order because in the in the odd sheet, for whatever reason, they're all out of order. Like it went jumbo first and hobby last for some reason. So let's start with the fat pack, right? The fat pack to get a gold is one in every 21. Now, that is bad. I will say that is not really that good. But other retail configurations um, are way better, as you will see in this video. Now, keep in mind, I will say this, I do not have the 2023 comparison for the Fat Pack, but I do have the 2023 comparison for uh, blasters and hangers. So blaster boxes last year were 1 in 99. Of course, I have made fun of this joke for literally a whole entire year now. So 199 contained a gold for a blaster, and a hanger was 1 in 15 last year for Series 1. So keep that in mind. Keep that in mind when I read the other odds here, right? Of course, now we'll go, so we'll go Fat Pack again. You know, I think they're like $8 a Fat Pack now. Um, they used to be $5. So take 8 times 21. I can't do that in my head. I failed math class. I'm terrible at math. But either way, I don't think that's really the best way to buy Series 1. Um, considering there's really nothing exclusive with the Fat Packs. They're just there. You get stars of the MLB probably, and that's it, which are terrible. So take that with what you will. Now we will go to the second cheapest which is the hanger box like i said last year's one in 15 this year one in nine one in nine contain a gold for a hanger box in series one a lot better than last year a lot better than last year about maybe about maybe by 40 percent or so i can't do that really in my head 
um, 15 to 9, I don't know, like maybe 40%. It's almost close to 50, but not quite. Maybe 35% somewhere in that area. So definitely, definitely improved to say the least. Um, so yeah, take that with what you will. I, you know, I didn't read the full odds. I just looked at the gold because like I did say, golds are the easiest to identify how good or bad a configuration will be. Um, but I'll tell you one thing. I think hangers, if you're going to buy series one retail, I think hangers are probably the best way to go. Um, because the yellow parallels that you can only find in, um, hanger boxes. So I would definitely, you know, if you're going to buy retail, which I mean, you're probably going to want to after you hear the end of the video, uh, which we'll have a whole discussion about in, in a little bit. Um, but hangers definitely seem like a good option. Definitely seem like a good option. So there's that. Now let's go to the blaster. So last year, like I said, one in 99. One in 99 packs. This year, one in 47. That is the equivalent of seven boxes. So very, very interesting. Half plus some are like basically what I'm trying to say is I shouldn't have said half. I should have said doubled. But odds are now doubled in your favor to get a gold in a blaster box now. Um, and last year, they were 1 in 99. This year, 1 in 47. So it's double and some for better your chances for a gold. Um, I don't think golds, or I, should, I, I shouldn't say that. I, sh I don't think... Blaster boxes are the best way to buy retail. I, I just don't see it, um, especially with them taking more cards out of the boxes. Um, I just don't really see that as a great option. Um, like I do say, I think hangers, because um, think of it like this. Think of it like this. If you buy two hanger boxes, you combine them, which if we're going to go based off of the um, old card count, which was 59 cards and update, so... We'll go 59 and 59, so that is what? Um, 60, 60, 120, so 118, right? 118, um, 118 cards for $25. If you, if you buy a blaster box, right? If you buy a blaster box, you're getting 88 or 84 or however many cards for that same price. So I think hangers are most certainly probably... The best way to buy retail, that's just my early prediction. I'll have to do a little more of a deep dive into it to really, like, you know, fully grasp the the odds and see. Um, but just off a of first glance, you know, there is a couple other options as well. There is a monster box, which the odds, I do believe, were not on there. And a super box, again, which were not on there. So I don't know if those packs are, are different or better odds, obviously, I would like to assume the Monster Box is probably the best configuration for retail for parallels, considering it's the you know the biggest version of retail. But again, I'm not entirely sure. So stay tuned for that once we see all that good stuff, probably very soon in the odds sheet. Now, let's go to Hobby. This is this is surprising. This is definitely surprising to me. Um, you're going to see why. So I don't know the exact odds of last year's hobby. I do apologize for that. Um, but I'll tell you one thing. Hobby for golds was certainly not this bad last year, I don't think. And you got to keep in mind, you got to keep in mind as well. They took out four cards or four packs every box. So last year there were 24 packs a box. This year there are 20 and there were 14 cards a pack. Now there are 12. So keep that in mind as well, right? So Hobby to get a gold is 1 in 32. That is 1 out of every 2 boxes contains a gold. Yeah, that's pretty rough. That is pretty, pretty rough. I don't like that at all. Um, The fact that you can't get a simple gold out of a $95 box, which is that's the price that they are selling them for on the site today, by the way, which I'd imagine hobby stores will probably be 100 And Jumbo's, side note, in hobby stores will probably be about 180 200 so just keep that in mind as well, right? Very interesting. Very, very interesting. One in 32 contain a gold. That is one in every two boxes. So do the math. That's $200. Let's say you buy two boxes and you don't get one gold in one box and one in the other. 
you theoretically spent $200 for a one gold card in Series 1 Hobby. But at the same time, you can buy, you know, uh, for example, Fat Packs probably equate to about roughly, I'd like to say, $140-ish to get a gold if you got one for every 21 packs. Hanger Boxes, this is a better indicator, really. One in every nine. So let's go, let's say they're $11, $99. Um, for, for one or $90 or whatever, right? 10, right? Um, so really interesting, really interesting that gold got worse in hobby boxes. That, that is definitely very interesting to me. And lastly, the gold in the jumbo is one in nine. So that is guaranteed. You are guaranteed because there's 10 packs in a jumbo. You're guaranteed to at least get one. Maybe if you get really lucky, you have a 1 in 10 chance to get a second. So, again, I mean, it's not really that good. So, let's wrap this video up here with a simple little discussion. Which, I like to keep these videos under 20, 20 minutes, but uh, we're already at 16 minutes. So, I'll keep this quick. Maybe we'll talk about more about this in depth a little, a little bit closer to the release date, right? It looks like, just based off the gold odds, they have moved a lot of the parallels into retail, which is ironically the exact opposite of what happened last year. So last year with Series 1, retail was bad, while Hobby was by far superior. This year, it looks like they moved a lot of parallels into retail. So very interesting. I mean, I don't know. I mean, you would you would think that the the most expensive version would have the best odds. You would think that, right? But I mean, we'll have to do a little bit of a deep dive. But I'll tell you one thing: hobbies and jumbos for parallels does not look like the way to go. It actually looks like retail. Now, again, there's five different configurations for retail, so which two of which we do not have the odds for yet still. But if I'm going off a whim here and just taking a guess, like a shot in the dark kind of thing, I'm going to go with the hanger box as probably, depending off they raise the price or not, but let's just say they're $11 for now because that's typically what they are. Um, hanger boxes look like to be the way to go. Very shocking. Very, very surprising to say the least. And it's funny because the odds actually did not come out until like 6 o'clock Eastern time tonight. Or last night, I should say. And all the pre-orders were already sold out of the product. So do I find it a little weird that they decided to release the odds after pre-orders went up? Kind of. Because after looking at the odds... My decision to buy a jumbo, which keep in mind, I this is the first jumbo, believe it or not, you'll find this crazy. This is the first jumbo I've ever bought. You heard me correct. I have never bought in a jumbo hobby box until right now. So am I regretting spending $160? Maybe. I it's hard to tell because maybe I'm just trying to get a quick little thought in here. Did they basically say, since Hobby gets hits like relics and autographs, that they're moving parallels more so in retail to kind of balance it out? Is that kind of what I'm getting the feeling of here? Kind of, to be honest with you. So again, stay tuned for more updates. We're going to have a ton more Series 1 videos between now and February 14th. Basically, I mean, I've been doing literally a Series 1 video, I kid you not, like every single day. <laughs> I mean, there's just been so much news regarding Series 1 over the last week and a half to two weeks, it's hard not to talk about. And today, the odds came out, which everyone was looking forward to, myself included, and we have some pretty solid answers. We have definitely some very solid answers. So, again, stay tuned. We still have two more retail configurations to talk about. We have a Fanatics box, a dollar store box. There are a ton of new options with Series 1. Um, for better or for worse, I don't know. 
So stay tuned because maybe another thought process I just just thought about in my head. Maybe they put a lot of parallels in these fanatics boxes. I don't know. We're gonna have to wait for solid information. I am no mathematician. Like I said, I failed math. I was terrible at it. I used photo math all the time. So don't look at me for mathematical answers because you're not gonna get them over here. I promise you that. Um, but either way, to wrap this video up, pretty shocking. Simply just to put, pretty shocking. I did not expect to come on here and say that retail probably is the best way to buy Series 1. Because I was under the complete assumption that retail was going to be garbage. You you guys know I have I have definitely said that plenty of times in the last couple weeks. And yeah, it looks like I may be eating my own words. It looks like it. I don't know. Again, first glance, time will tell. We'll have to wait and see. Because there's still more configurations with all that still yet to be released. And we'll have to wait for all that stuff to come out. So that's all I got for you. That's all I got for you in this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Now let's get into a pack and get on out of here. So very interesting couple weeks ahead. Very, very interesting couple weeks ahead of us. And if you noticed, I had changed the uh, background, by the way. We are now in our regular season background. We have uh, Munateka Murakami base relic right here, which I pulled out of the World Baseball Classic box. We have some custom cards here, which I've got via subscribers. That's pretty cool. A Kutch card that I got signed at Pirates Fest a way long time ago. A dual uh, quad relic of McCutcheon from this past museum collection. Uh, we had a whole bunch of we have a whole bunch of stuff here, man. Whole bunch of stuff. So let's open this pack. Allen and Ginter. Speaking of cards, Stadium Club is supposedly coming out next week. Um. So yeah, I don't know. Oh geez, we're gonna. All right, you know what we're going to do? I was waiting for this moment. I was waiting for this moment. Sorry, Tampa Bay fans. Sorry, Tampa Bay fans. Guess what? This card's better ripped off. Or this, or this card's better ripped than uh, full. So, sorry, Tampa fans. Had to do it. I was waiting for that moment. And guess what? The moment finally arrived. Had to do it. Had to do it. Don't care. Do not care at all. Let's see. Matthews and Rookie of the Year. Ichiro. That's pretty cool. I won't rip that car up. I love Ichiro. Probably my favorite Japanese player of all time. Yes, over even over Shohei. Yes, you heard me right. So, guys, I'm getting out of here. Let me know what you think about the odds of Series 1. Pretty shocking to me, man. I mean, I, I mean I'm just kind of at a loss for work, to be honest with you, but... You know, time will tell. Time will tell, and we'll see what goes from there. So, guys, let me know what you think about Series 1. Let me know if you got any pre-orders. I had, a, I had a lot of people in my comment section yesterday saying that they didn't get pre-orders for um, Series 1 because of the error that they made. I'm probably going to do a whole video about that tomorrow, to be honest with you. So, yeah. So, we'll see. So, guys, let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys in the next video.